Good morning, class. So, how are you all? Well, I am fine and I'm happy to see you all that you all are happy. So, how is your everything going and how you are doing everything? That's the wonderful thing that you people are doing very well. And are you watching your videos on YouTube? If not, so kindly watch them, do subscribe to the channel and ask everyone around you to do it, to do the same. Today, we are going to learn about a very important topic that is related to kindness, related to generosity, related to good deeds, to separate yourself from bad deeds. For that, I am having some of the, I'm having a video for you so you will come to know that what, are, what is evil and what is bad. So you will watch the video, I will tell you why I have showed you this video. Oh, wait, it's not like this. Here is that. Here is now, optimized for video clip. So see the video, watch the video about good and bad, then I will tell you the detailed lesson. And the bad. A story on the power of evil and what bad it makes us do and learning how to stop it. Hello son, I just remembered I gave you to clean this area. Yes dad, I don't want to lie. Lie, 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 lie to lie, him. Man. Lie, that's your only way. Uh, Dad, I, I did it, actually. Yes. Very good, son. That's the way to go. Uh, son, um, I, I don't see this place to be clean. I don't know what to say anymore, uh, Dad. I uh, actually I lied to you. What? You lied? Uh, I'm 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 sorry. I I didn't want it to, you know, lie. But this evil person inside my head made me lie. Lie, lie. You did a good thing, son. Telling me the truth. It's okay. You can clean now. Well, you should not lie. You should get rid of the evil person inside your head. Yes, son. You are right. Evil is bad. And you should not listen. Yes, Dad. You are right. I will get rid of the evil from my head. Evil, evil will, will not, not leave, leave you. you. It will leave you, son. It will. Believe in the good. That's what we learned. So, students, we came to know that we have to Believe in the good. We have to stop ourselves from the evil and the bad thing. We should behave nicely and we should be very vigilant about behaving good with others. So my topic of today is related to good, related to kindness, related to generosity. I mean, how you can be good to someone. The chapter is generosity. This is, uh, this is mainly two weeks lesson which I'm going to teach you in one week because I want you to know about the complete lesson in one week. It is basically a chapter about four days but as you know we are going to record we are going to post our video on the channel so I want that you should have this in a go and in one time you will watch all of the video. Generosity. Islam teaches us to be generous. If you have more than what you need, then it is good to share it with those 
who do not have much. This is called generosity. You have more things and the other person who do not have, then it is your responsibility to give that thing to other. Means sharing. Sharing is a good deed. It lies in the generosity. So you should be very vigilant. If you have many things, you should have to share the things with others. Our dear Prophet Wasallam was very generous and taught us about the same, to be the same. Prophet Muhammad Wasallam led a very simple life, even though Muslims were ready. Even though, even though Muslims were ready, how to? Muslims were ready to lay all their wealth at his feet. He did not use it for himself, but gave it to those who needed it. Muslims left their homes and belongings in Makkah when they migrated to Medina, Ansars, the Muslims of Medina. Medina, Ansars, the Muslims of Medina brought many gifts and food and put, put these before the Holy Prophet he distributed them among the needy muhajirs. He distributed them among the needy muhajirs. So if I'm telling you, when Hazrat Muhammad migrated from Medina, from Makkah to Medina, Ansars were there to help out the muhajirs. They have given all of their wealth, all of their belongings, whatever is there, there in their home. They have given it to all of the things to Ansar. Now, in present times, if you heard about, let me show you a picture. Wait, wait, class. So, students, I was sharing with you that I'm going to share a picture with you. Let me show you the man. You have to guess who is he and what he did. So, this is the man. What is his name? He is the living. He was the living example of generosity. Like if we will say. The person who has given everything of him to others was him. His name was Abdul Sitar Adi. Yeah, he has a long Kibo Fabulantes. He has a long, long, he has a big, big, big tradition centers like we cannot say. He asks for donation. He used to give the donations. Yes, he always calls the people, who, whoever wants to kill their children, whoever wants to throw their children away, he always welcomes them. He has a line of ambulances, hospitals. He has donated a lot for the humanity. So we should be like him. We should be having a, this kind of a nature that we should have to give our things to others. I am going to show you some other pictures also because I want to show that what is actually generosity called. Now, if I will talk about this picture, what do you see in this? See, it is a small picture, but you have to tell me what do you see? The girl is tying the boy's shoes. Why? Because the boy doesn't know how to tie the laces. So this is also a form of generosity that we have to, we have to be very kind to others who do not know anything who have no idea how to spend their lives and who do not know that we are supposed to do something. Now, if I will show you this picture, see, living smart, donation toys and all. If I will show you one more picture and uh, sorry, sorry, stop here. So uh, these are the pictures which I have shown you in which children are someone else is helping others and Abdul Sattar Adi is one of the person who did a lot for everyone and if I will show you one more thing uh, let me find more picture then I will tell you yeah I got it Mama. I got it so please see here I am going to again you will come to know what is generosity called these are the pictures I have like uh, downloaded for you to tell you see a person is helping the other person to come climb up the hill because he was unable to. So he is helping him out. This is also an example of generosity. What you have, give others. So he has the courage, he has the power, he is giving others. And I was telling you about Abdul Sattar Edi. He was also like this. We are going to read about him. Hazrat Muhammad will read, read about him a lot and a lot. 
in present times, you must have heard of Abdul Satayri. When he was a young boy, his mother gave him a very little money to spend. Even from this little amount, how? Even from this little amount, the spe the he spent half to help the poor. Idi Saab is one of the most famous social workers, respected not only in Pakistan but all over the world. No doubt, he has a name in all over the world. He has a big network of ambulances who are always available to help the poor and the needy people. So he is one of the biggest name in present times. There are many people who do not have what we have. Some don't have even a home to live in. So let us be generous and share. If you share a room or a cupboard with your brother or sister, do not fight. Share these happily. Yeah, it is your moral responsibility to share your toys, to share your belongings, to share your cupboards, to share your rack. Anything which you are having one in number, please share it with your siblings. And even if you are in school, please share it, share everything with your uh, let me write down something. Generosity, okay? So, please, students, do remember this, that sharing is a very important thing and it is our moral duty to share the things which we are having. Now, if your friends visit you, share your toys with them when you play. Do not snatch your things away. If you have a lot of clothes and toys, then it is good to give some to children who do not have any. It is also to it is also good to give food, fruits, or sweets to a hungry or a poor family. They may not have the money to buy these. See, children, small small things. See, as Ad Sab is giving donation to this person, even he is standing around the food and the shelter. Whatever you are having, please try to give it. And see, you are uh, the person is distributing the things he is having, like food or anything. It's not like that if you are not having something big. You are having small thing and other, other person has nothing. Curly share it with that person, okay? Excuse me. So I was telling you about the Sars and Muhajirs at that time. When Muhammad Sallam migrated from Mecca to Medina, it was a very crucial time and they were having nothing. At that time, the Muslims of Medina gave, gave everything of them to Muhajirs. And stars gave everything, their wealth, their clothes, their homes, their uh, properties. They have just devoted everything to them that they, they are our Muslim brothers and we are there to help you. So try to be like this and try to be generous, try to be kind. I have shown you the pictures. Try to search on generosity that how you can be generous towards your children, towards your uh, friends, towards your siblings, towards the poor people. It's not only poor, you have to be generous with any of the people, whether he is poor or not. So it all depends on you that how you are going to behave with them. So my dear children, we are going to have a small session of question answers, then we will write the answers and questions, okay? Can you please tell me what does Islam teaches us? Yes, Islam teaches us to be generous. And how do we share? If we have one or more than one thing, we need to share. And if, if we are having more than what we need, we have to share. Who was Azad Muhammad? What kind of a person was Azad Muhammad? He was very generous here and they taught us the same. What kind of a life he has led? He has led a very simple life. And uh, uh, how did uh, Medina people treat you with Makkah people? They gave their everything to them. Yes. And what are those people called? They are called Ansars. And the people who were getting help from Ansars, they are called Muhajirs. Who is the present social worker who is a big name internationally? Abdul Sitar Edi. He used to get small amount of money, a small amount from his mother and he used to spend half to the needy. So he's very generous. How do we have to behave with our siblings? We have to share everything with them. It is our moral responsibility to share each and everything with our siblings because Allah Tara gets happy whoever shares with the needy person.
So children, it is good to give food, fruits and uh, anything to hungry or a poor family. Maybe they do not have the money to buy these. Okay. Now let us start our question answers. Is there any difficult word? Let us do first activity of word bank. Then let us write generous. G E N T R O U S. Generous. Okay, now chart. T A U G H T. T A U G H T. Wealth. W E A L T H. 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 Ansars. A N A S A R S. Ansars. And Mohaji. M U A J J I R S M. M U H A J I R S. M U H A J I R S. Mohaji's. Then. Famous. F A M O U S. F A M O U S. F A M O U S. Happy. H A double P I L Y. H A double P I L Y. Snatch. S N A T C H. S N A T C H. Snatch. Children. P H I L D R E N. Children. C H I L D R E N children. M O N E Y. So I am giving you two minutes to find these words from your paper, from your lesson. Can you find them? I'm giving you two minutes. After two minutes, I will see you to stop. Okay, children, now what we are going to do is we are going to do the exercise. Where is my duster gone? Let me see the duster. Oh, I found it. So tell me. Okay, now we are going to do is. What did the Prophet Sallallahu do with the wealth that people gave him? What did he do? Prophet Sallallahu never used it for himself but gave it to those who needed it. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not use it for himself but gave it to those who needed it. Okay, now tell me the answer of second question. Who is Abdul Sitar Edi? What did he do with the money that his mother gave him to spend? Abdul Sitar Edi is the Edi Saab is the most famous social worker. Edi Saab. is the most famous social worker. And what he do with his money? He spent half to help the poor. He spent
is half money to help the poor. Children, if the answers are not coming on your book page, you have to write on your notebook, okay? Because it is very important to write complete answers or whether you have to mark them on your books. It's up to you. Uh, now tell me question number three. What must you do if you have more than what you need? What must you do? To share it with those who do not have much. To share it with those. We have to give. It is good to share. It is good to share with those who do not have much. If you have visitors, will you share your toys with them? Tell me. If you have visitors at your home, will you share your toys with them? Yes, that's great to know. You should have to share your toys with them. If you have more money, money than you need, would you buy things just for yourself or also for the needy? You will also buy the things for the needy. That's really great to know that you people are having a big heart. That's right. Now, please tell me we are going to the fill in the blanks and I will tell you how to, I will tell you the Allah's blessings. Okay, Allah's blessings I will share with you that Allah has given us many blessings a video clip I will show you. Let me find the video clip quickly. I have found everything and mistakenly I have closed. Now I need to find everything again. Okay, that I'm going to do. The Holy Prophet وسلم, himself was very generous and taught us to be dash as well. What has he taught us? He taught us to be generous. He taught us to be generous. Then kindly tell me, Muslims from Makkah who migrated to Medina were called Mohajirs. And the Muslims of Medina were called Ansar. So children, I am going to tell you about Allah's blessings. For that, you have to tell me that what are the things you know that Allah Ta'ala has blessed with us. Can you please list down the things? Obviously, we cannot list down all the things, but you have to tell me some of the things from them. That what are the things that, can, that are the blessings of Allah and how do we have to use them in our daily life? Yard, please. That's great to know. Now I am finding, you know, Allah Ta'ala has blessed us with the night, with the morning, with the fruits, with the vegetables, with the plants, with the sun, with the sky, with the stars, with the moon, and what more? Yes, everything from Allah, we are blessed by Allah. Yes, everything He has given us, everything. So we must be thankful to Him. We should be generous to others that how Allah Ta'ala has given us. We should have to give everyone. We, are sh we should not be like, we shouldn't be like that we are very miser or we are very uh, kind of uh, persons. Uh, so, so children, uh, it's my uh, duty to tell you that you should have to give everything to your siblings. They sh you should have to share everything with them. Because it's not about siblings, it's about every poor person who is who is with you or not even poor. The person who needs it, a person who is in need, try to help them out. Try to help them, try to make the ways easy for them. Okay, so I am just uh, going to...
find the video of Allah's blessing, Allah's creations. Then I will show you that how blessed we are. Here is it. You watch the video and come to know that how much he has blessed us with many of the things. Oh my God, I am opening something. I have told you there are technical issues every time and I am facing those technical issues all the time. Hello. Today's topic, Allah and His Allah's creation. creation. children these are all his creations Allah Ta'ala has created the whole world for us okay so I hope you have come to know that what are the blessings that what are his creations the sun and the sky and everything around us is all his creations so my class I hope that you have enjoyed this lecture I hope you would uh, be very generous towards everyone uh, related to you Take care of you. I will be meeting you, inshallah. Next week, I will be meeting you. We are having a new topic in uh, memorization. So, I will be meeting you. Okay? So, let us do, okay?